All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going over four different marketplaces where you can buy NFT artwork. And those four places are Nifty Gateway, Rarible, Super Rare, as well as Atomic Hub. And each one of these have different types of art on it. There's different pros and cons to each marketplace, in my opinion, which is why I'm showing you all four of these. I will link each one of these spots in the description of the video if you want to go and check those out after you're done watching. And if you're not familiar with what NFT or non fungible token artwork is, I'll give a brief description, but I'll also link a previous video I made in the description of this video where you can check that out first and learn more. So when it comes to digital art, being a digital artist has been pretty difficult for a long time because it's never really held the same kind of value as a physical painting, for example, because it's easy to duplicate. You can just save people's artwork wherever you want to. It's pretty much impossible to stop that. So when it comes to non-fungible tokens, the word fungible means that you can duplicate or replace with an identical copy. So non-fungible means that you can't duplicate it or replace whatever that thing happens to be with an identical copy in its place. So the argument I hear all the time when it comes to digital artwork and NFTs is that I could right click this, I could save this video as, and I would now have this piece of artwork right on my desktop. Why in the world would I pay $666 for it? And the simplest answer I can think of is there are paintings like the Mona Lisa that are essentially priceless. And they're priceless because they were created by that original creator. And it can be proven that the original creator created that piece of art. You could also go and buy an identical copy of that artwork that would be almost indistinguishable in every possible way. And you would probably enjoy almost as much as if you had that original painting in your household but the value of those replications will never even come close to matching that of the original. We're talking factors and orders of magnitude in value difference here. So the same general logic can be applied to an NFT because when it comes to NFTs, you can be absolutely certain that the NFT you purchase was created and sold by the original creator. And you can also see the entire sales history, who's owned it, oftentimes what those people paid for it, because it's all publicly shown and available on the blockchain. So that really changes the game for digital content creators. And I think it's absolutely amazing when it comes to giving opportunity to people, which is why I want to showcase these marketplaces that are doing so. So first up here, we have Nifty Gateway. And I think Nifty Gateway is probably the most accessible of these four different spots because you can know nothing about crypto. And it won't matter here because all the transactions are done using the dollar. So this is a recent drop done by a digital artist that I believe use machine learning algorithms to create these pieces. And they're not cheap when it comes to a lot of this NFT art, especially higher end NFT art like this. Like these were $1,000 a piece. They were sold for a very short period of time. And you can see these have like 34 sales, 48 sales, 32 sales. So a lot of money was generated very quickly for this particular artist, which I think is amazing. All of these things can be purchased using a credit card, so it's really easy in that aspect. But I'll say the most difficult part of buying anything on Nifty Gateway is that it at least appears that there's a ton of bots on here that buy the more limited editions pretty much instantly, which means if you are a human, good luck buying a lot of these things. So this was an open edition, which means for a period of, I believe, five minutes, if you wanted to buy one, you could buy one. And it's essentially scarce or more rare because the window to buy was pretty small. And I do have to call out really quick just how beautifully well done these renderings are. They're absolutely insane. But these are open editions, which are easier for normal people to buy, but they also do hyper limited closed editions. So I'm going to quickly go back down to these ones where only a few pieces are minted. So for example, this piece, which is $666, only had 10 available. And I would assume those 10 sold out in well, well under a second, like a fraction of a second. So ultimately buying one, you have to be very, very lucky. And you can actually view listings in the marketplace of these that are currently up for sale. And this was $666 brand new. I'm going to assume if you want one now, it's over probably more than $5,000 in just the few days that this has been on sale. So I'll check listings really quick. I'll flip it to on sale. Whoops, I did that wrong. If I go back here, flip that to on sale. There's one for $22.99, which is actually cheaper than I thought it would be, $4,000 and then $6,000. So people buy these super quick and essentially want to flip them instantly for a crazy profit. So do be aware that that happens on this marketplace. And if you're wondering what kind of value can possibly be 
given to an NFT. One of the largest sales I've ever seen happen with an NFT, not the largest, but Justin Roiland, who is the co-creator of Rick and Morty, has an auction right here. You can go here and check it out on your own if you want to. I'm worried that the image itself might get flagged for nudity or inappropriate content, so I'm not going to show it. But it was an auction for charity of one of his sketches in the same vein as these two, just of The Simpsons or an alternate version of The Simpsons. But that auction sold for $290,000. So I think that's amazing that the charity got that money. But people are placing really, really big money into NFTs right now. And it's just fascinating to watch this space unfold. So if for no other reason, it's interesting to pay attention to see how this market is moving and how the actual creators of these pieces of art are being compensated. So next up here, I'm going to go to Rarible, which when it comes to Nifty Gateway, if you are a seller and you want to sell your items here, you have to contact the Nifty Gateway team directly. And it's probably going to be very, very hard to actually get your art placed here unless you are a very well-known artist or a well-known brand of some sort, they're going to have high standards and high expectations for the artwork that you deliver. Pretty much anyone, however, can upload to Rarible. They do have a verification process if you want to verify yourself, but you'll notice the types and quality of art that you see here will be all over the place. There's absolutely stunning artwork on here, and there's stuff where it's like, what? <laughs> where did this come from and who made this and why did someone actually pay money to upload it and hopefully sell it. It's just all over the board. So this is a place where I actually personally put some stuff up here, and I'm just kind of scrolling through to find something that I find really interesting. And I actually found, like, here's my own stuff that I uploaded. So right here is a piece that I designed and uploaded to Rarible to learn how this actual process goes. There's five of these in existence, and I'm currently selling them for 0 0.02 Ether, which is about $29 at current Ethereum prices. So you can actually, as an artist, just go here, upload these. You have to pay an Ethereum, what is essentially a network fee on Ethereum. So you'll need an Ethereum wallet to actually go through this. I won't go through the process of doing that. It's not super complicated, but it is a bit of a, a learning curve if you're not familiar with using crypto online. But once you get all that worked out, you can actually upload your own artwork to this using a create button right here. You can set your own price in Ethereum. And something else that's really cool, if I go to create really fast and just show you what this looks like, you can upload a PNG, a GIF, a WebP, MP4, or even an MP3. You can put it on sale for an instant price, or you can also use it as an auction. But one of the coolest things by far about NFTs for digital creators is that you can set a royalty. So let's say you sell something for $10 and you have a 10% royalty, which you, on this platform you can set to be whatever the heck you want. I think 10% is very fair personally. So someone buys it and later on they decide to sell it for $20. On that $20 sale, you'll actually make $2 if you have a 10% royalty and then also 10% on any future sale. So artwork that you upload and create here and then is purchased and resold over and over again, you as the creator will keep making money on this every single time. So I think that absolutely changes the game in terms of being a digital creator. It makes real livable income from digital art very, very possible. So I think that is absolutely stunning. Personally, I think that is far better than anything I've ever seen when it comes to online art sales like this. This is just not something that was possible before with digital art in a way that could be really transparent and be tracked really well. But overall, some really fascinating stuff on here. Whether or not it is your personal taste is obviously up to you, but all sorts of artists here are uploading their work and selling it on the blockchain so you can know exactly who it comes from and know that you're directly supporting those creators. And much like Rarible, we have Super Rare. Although I will say that Super Rare is very selective, at least very selective now. I don't know if that was always the case. But Super Rare has really high-end digital artwork as well. It also runs on Ethereum just like Rarible does. I'll also note Nifty Gateway runs on Ethereum as well, but they kind of mask that fact by just using the dollar but there are some stunningly beautiful pieces on this market. So this one, for example, is a current auction, and the current auction high bid is five Ethereum, which is about $6,000 at current Ethereum prices, which I think is amazing, absolutely amazing for this artist, and I also think well-deserved. This is a beautiful piece of artwork. So the thought of creating a digital piece of artwork like this in the past, getting $6,000 for it, unheard of. I have never heard of digital art sales happen like that, because you could never really prove over time that this was coming from the artist. 
like maybe the artist would have had it printed and then sold the actual physical print. But this is absolutely different and stunning for actually supporting these people and also knowing that you're directly supporting your creator. So if I go to their artist profile, I can see all of the different pieces that they've created. This one is also fantastic in my personal opinion. So really high-end stuff on Super Rare. If you were an artist or a designer and you want to get your pieces on this marketplace, it's very, very selective right now. And you, to the best of my knowledge, have to essentially create three pieces that you will sell exclusively on them and then just wait and hope that you hear a response. So much more difficult to get on here, but major, major sales happen on this marketplace. Sales in the six figures have happened on this marketplace. So immense opportunity. And this marketplace also has a 10% royalty to all artists. So not only do you make money on your initial sale, but you also make money on every single future sale that goes on past that. And you can actually see the entire history of bids and sales over time on any piece of artwork. So you can know exactly what people paid for it to start with, if it was resold, what it was sold for, who owns it currently. That level of transparency is also absolutely fascinating for a nerd like me who likes to go in there and check that stuff out. So last up, we have Atomic Hub, which is very different than these previous marketplaces for a number of reasons. One is that it uses a token called WAX, and it runs on the EOS IO blockchain, which you don't really have to care about that at all. But the cool thing about that particular blockchain is there is no fee for transferring these NFTs, where transferring an NFT on Ethereum is at the cheapest right now about $15. They are working on an Ethereum 2.0 upgrade, which will make those fees, in my opinion, probably cost a couple cents, but at least right now it's fairly expensive to actually use this particular network. But that is not the case on Atomic Hub, where it's absolutely free to go ahead and send these wherever you want. You just have to use a wallet, which you create, and there's a, something called a Wax Cloud Wallet, which is really easy to use. You can just put a few Wax in there, which gives you essentially the storage space for your NFTs, and after that, you're absolutely good to go. So this market is very different in that it's essentially like trading cards, or at least that's the bulk of it. So if you think of old school magic cards that are now insanely valuable, that same potential exists on this marketplace. So I'll show you one of my personal favorite projects on Atomic Hub and on the Wax ecosystem, which is Bitcoin Origin, which is a series of cards that are essentially trying to tell the story of Bitcoin while also doing an insane Easter egg hunt where the grand prize is at least one Bitcoin, but possibly a lot more stuff is going on there that we're just not really privy to. So I can actually just go here and I'm going to open one of these up so I can then click on the collection Bitcoin Origin, which will show me all the different assets that are in this collection and also all the different templates that they're creating the artwork from. So really, really beautiful artwork in this project. In this case, it's created by a guy named Mute. And you can actually see who owns it. So this particular very rare piece is owned by someone named Blue Wizard. I can click on that. I can see what mint number it is. So what order it was produced. It was number four of four in existence. Very, very rare. I can open this up and check it out. So these are potentially going to be the next magic card, the next Pokemon card when it comes to sort of collectibles that you open up in packs. At least the majority of things that you buy here come in packs that open up and you have sort of a random chance of getting different cards, which adds to the kind of excitement of this particular marketplace. But for that reason, it's also a little bit different than a lot of the other marketplaces that currently exist. For example, I went ahead and I'm just going to change this quickly to my personal profile of some cards that I uploaded here. My cards aren't verified yet, so they won't show up on the actual market. They're trying to verify essentially that I am the creator of these cards, but I also uploaded these here. So I have some of my own cards on this particular market that I will hopefully sell in the future. So this market, I'm very, very excited for. There's all sorts of different things. So if you go here, you check out the market and you can just kind of browse through all the different things. There are a bunch of different Atari cartridges. For example, also Dead Mouse did a project here where he has a bunch of different pieces of his art. You can sort by things like listings newest or price highest, which sometimes gets a bit messy depending on what it is. But it's, it's just really amazing to see the variety of different pieces of artwork that go on here. I think that these as digital collectibles will become insanely popular over time, at least personally. No one can really predict the future, but it's definitely something worth watching out for. 
And also when it comes to the transparency here, just once again, I'll, I'll really quickly go back to Bitcoin origin because the prices people pay on this one in particular are absolutely insane, partially because the artwork is amazing, partially because people think that this is something that's going to pick up value over time because it's such an important project in the space right now. So I can actually just click on sale history. I'll go down to blocks because I know one of the blocks, which is essentially one of the packs that you open up and get your cards out of, sold for a really wild amount of money. So I can change the filter here to price highest. We will see what the price is for the most expensive block ever. In this case, it was $64,200 at current wax price for a four megabyte block purchased by the Blue Wizard, who is easily the biggest investor in this particular space right now. So within this block, potentially very, very rare items exist that in the future might have really insane value. And also this was mint number one. So the first produced item on this particular marketplace is always the most valuable by far because people like having the first thing that was produced. So that's just to essentially show you that this is a wild space right now. And that if you are a creator, if you are someone who wants to go out there and see if you can make some money and generate some opportunity for yourself, that opportunity certainly exists. On these marketplaces, there's of course tons of competition. There's tons of very talented artists. And for people that might not be producing really high quality work, they can also just flood the marketplace with stuff which buries your own work. So I'm really curious if my own work will sell over time or not. But regardless of that, I think if you are a digital creator, it'd be really insane not to take advantage of this new marketplace. You would be a very, very early adopter and it's a great time to actually get attention before more and more people pile into the space, which just ramps up that difficulty curve in terms of getting noticed. So this is something that I've been nerding out for now for at least a month. It's, I've been so deep into it, it's insane. So I really wanna keep producing content and showing people what's going on here, and even potentially doing weekly roundups of some sort of some of my very favorite NFT artwork. So if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to let me know in the comments section and I will use what you tell me to help decide what I do in the future and how I go about doing it. And also, if this particular video was interesting to you, feel free to hit the thumbs up button to let me know. And past that, if you want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe. I'll do my absolute best to keep covering this absolutely fascinating space in the future. But thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next one.